What's up guys, it's Justin. Um this is my first fishing video. I've been wanting to put a vi my first video on for a long time. And this video is going to be about how to put backing on your bait caster or any rod or any reel. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put twenty five pound baits upside down. Um I'm going to be putting uh, 20 pound of the 100 of, I'm going to be putting um, 20 pound line of the stealth braid, and it's backwards on my screen because of the way I'm looking, but it won't be backwards uh, when I go to play it. So I've already tied, tied it on the string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the spool down like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, start uh, reeling it in. And this will reduce, like, this will help you cast farther and stuff like that. And since there's only a little bit on here, I'm just going to screw all of it on here. And then, like, if you want to change line, then you don't waste as much of your line. So I don't I don't have much but it should it should be enough. So at the end of the spool there's a little peel thing, the jigger. Take that off. Now what I'm going to do is I put my line that I wanna or the cause I decided to put backing on from previous videos I from videos I have watched. So I have this reel and I just pulled the line that was already on there on right here. So what I'm going to do is with my braid I'm going to form a loop like this. You can't see it well, but that's the loop. And you're going to take the end of your other string and you I usually wrap it around four to five times or you're going to take your uh, main line you go put it underneath of the loop to where it's like this okay now you're going to wrap your mono or whatever you're using I'm using mono you're going to wrap that around the two braided, the two uh, strains of the braid, four to five times. I mean, I'm not counting, but. And then you take the end of that and you put it through the loop of the braid again. If I can get it. is hard this is tricky just put it through like so now you have something that should look like that now you're gonna pull that nice and tight together and if you get a long enough cast where you get to this knot this knot is really thin so and what you're gonna do is you're just going to trim it to where there's about I don't know about that much tag in left you're just gonna turn it down to what you think actually on both lines or just on the tag ends now what you're going to do is you're going to start reeling that in okay so Okay, so, alright, you're going to hear that noise, but that's my line coming on to my bait caster. I have 14 pound main line. It's, it's suffix, suffix brand of the, uh, I think it's the, I don't know, but 
It's not the red pack, it's the regular, it's the blue pack. Or the blue thing. And then, sometimes what will happen is, it'll build up on one side of the reel and not the other. So what you need to do, is you need to take something that will not mess your line up. And you need to put it over there. And start reeling it in to make it to where it's even on both sides. Okay, so that's about even. Now I'm going to start reeling it in more. So... So there's just a little bit left on there, but I don't want to put that on there. Well, I guess I can. Because if you overspool it, then you get backlashes. If you underspool it, then you get backlashes. So, now you have backing on there. That will create, uh, it should create less tangles and allow you to cast farther. So, um... Thanks for watching, watching, uh, like, and subscribe.